And Mark, let's begin with you, sir. I've played this game, I've seen this movie so many times over the last couple of years. It's going to be a tough quarter. The comps are tough. It's going to be really difficult to get this phone launched. What's the demand going to be like? Can they meet it with the supply? And then they just go and blow us out every single quarter and beat estimates again and again and again. Mark, walk me through the numbers. Yeah, it's actually really unbelievable. To your point, every quarter people say there's no way Apple's going to be able to beat expectations. But here we are again. It's already the end of 2017, and they're doing it, you know, yet again for five straight years. In terms of the numbers, of course, up year over year, uh, reporting revenues of $52.6 billion, iPhone sales of 46.5 million units, about a million units more uh, than this time a year ago, strong iPad sales, 5.2 million max, uh, strong other product sales. That means it influx of purchases of the new 4K Apple TV, the Apple Watch, and the AirPods. But the most important number is actually their guidance, the Q1, the holiday quarter, the first full launch quarter for the iPhone 10 and the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus and these other new products. That's their most important quarter every year, but this year it's especially important. And they're forecasting revenues for that quarter, and we'll find out if this was true at the end of January, between $84 billion and $87 billion, yeah. which would be an all-time quarterly record uh, for the technology company.